Hello! Today we are going to learn one of the many ways in which you can generate or make money with your APIs. In this case we are going to see a way for an example using .NET Core. The, the approach is actually useful for a lot of APIs created in other languages and we will see why in a moment. Now before we continue, remember please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, share them and invi invite more people to subscribe. Also visit the links that we have in the documentation and you can see all of my links in the allmylinks.com uh, website. Um, the link for this page which has all of the centralized links is also in the video description. Now let's start. Okay, so why you may want to make some money with your APIs? Okay, so let's say that you have a great idea that you want to make reality. You want to make it come to at some point, right? It's not always easy to do depending on the idea. Sometimes you may have to spend a little bit of money to make that idea come true. Let's say um, money in cloud services, money uh, in databases, money actually the money you pay for your internet usually. There are uh, like a lot of expenses that you will incur when you are developing, right? So, one of the ways to um, help a little bit with those expenses is actually creating your API spheres first and making them in a way that can be reused by many people. Also, you can uh, convert your business, for example, let's say that you have like a lot of applications and proof of concepts that you have developed over the years. If you don't delete that code and if you do the same that I do, that is use repositories such as um, Azure DevOps, right? You will have a lot of code that has been there for years, right? A lot of, of proof of concepts, a lot of tests, right? And if you have a business, you can also convert part of your business um, into APIs that other people can take advantage of. And one of the ways in which you can make money is by using subscription-based APIs, right? You basically charge charge uh, monthly subscription for the users to be able to use your APIs. You can also charge by request. So, creating your APIs spheres in a manner that they are reusable is actually one of the keys to be able to make money with your APIs and help you developing your projects. Okay, so let's see an example. This is a this is just a Blazor a web assembly application with a .NET Core hosted API, and the API is configured to enable Swagger. If you have already used uh, Blazor WebAssembly, actually, if you have used .NET Core, you will, will know that this is just a basic sample. The weather forecast that returns a static data. When you try it out, it executes and it just returns some data in there, right? Now, the thing that we care is this, the swagger.json file. Why do we care about that? Because we are now going to download this. Mm. 
we won't make money for Jason. Now I am going to the rapidapi.com website. Rapidapi.com or rapidapi uh, website is a um, or has a marketplace which allows you to upload your APIs and configure how you want to expose them and how you want to charge your users for the usage of your APIs so you basically generate your API you upload it here you configure your monetization strategy and that's it they actually help you um, in all of the payment and all that because you don't have to do it yourself you just upload it here and the system is already set up so you can uh, charge right so what I am going to do now is I am going to add a new API in here and I am going to put here demo make make money this is a demo right now I'm going to choose a category, let's say let's say weather because it was for the weather. And now you see that I can specify the documentation and I can tell it like what I am going to use. A UI, open API documentation, I can upload a file, can use Postman collection, GraphQL schema, uh, Kafka, right, things like that. Now I'm going to use open API. I'll go to downloads and I'll add the API. Now one of the things that you will see is that I can continue um, configuring this, right? I can upload an image if I, an image if I want. I can put the terms of use, right? All of that. I am going to save this API, everything seems to be ok, I'm going to go to the API specification and you will see that in here it actually allows you to configure your endpoints here I have my endpoint, right, and it says that the weather forecast is going to be a get I can go and edit it well I can configure the action and put some description in there, right, we have a better documentation and I can go click edit here I have I can put a name in here right I can either leave the defaults or name them in a way that they it looks more um, user friendly this is a demo endpoint right and now I'm going to save this and I'm going back again and now I want to test if this is working now one of the things that <coughs> let's see test endpoint here I don't have test endpoint for some reason and let's see I believe we don't have configured the base URL and indeed configure a base URL for the edit pool add base URL and now I have to go to here uh, ha. I copy this I'll continue in the documentation uh, it should be here now let's see we already have that configured that's the base URL let's go to the endpoints and now let's see we have the test endpoint in here so I can click test endpoint and it will go and execute the query against the actual server right now I can create an example from the response so the people can 
can see it in the documentation when I publish this to the marketplace okay so that's the first thing that we do and now we want to go to um, let me just test, test it again right it's verified okay same now we want to go to the plans and pricing and here you can configure different prices right you can have a basic plan right and you can figure here what you want to have for example here i can configure this it's going to be named re requests right and it represents a call to any end point is one request right that's kind of the default that you put in there you put your names right and you, can, you configure them uh, you configure them later on so if I go to edit I can go and edit this um, plan which is the basic plan and I can tell them I can tell it that the quota type is going to be for example um, unlimited or it's going to be daily so I can say that you can do like 100 requests per day right and I can put that it is a hard limit basically if I put a hard limit you will be able to do a maximum of 100 requests per day but if I put something like sub limit this is an overcharge so if you do more requests for each of the additional requests you will be charged the amount that you put in here so let's say 0, point zero, zero point 0.1 or something like uh, yes 0 0.1 right and save so you have then here you have this one hundred percent daily and then zero point one now there is one caveat in here if you uh, modify the basic plan so that it has additional charges when users try to use this api for testing in the testing console they will be requested a um, for a credit card because they need to recharge if they do additional overcharges right so best way is have a totally free plan right and if you want to charge you can use the other plans like the pro the ad plan the mega plan and you can also create private plans for a specific configuration for your um, customers right then after you finish with this you can go to um, publish it in the marketplace this is here in the global settings you will basically change this and this changes from private to public and that will publish it to the marketplace now you can go to view in the marketplace and this is the testing console that I was telling before so I can go and hit test endpoint in here and this will immediately test my endpoints right and here is what I meant about the uh, subscribe so if I hit subscribe in here this will automatically subscribe me right and I can test with that key that it will give me right uh, when you subscribe you will be able to get your keys and they will appear in here right so that's basically that's one of the ways in which you can make some money with your APIs uh, the rest is actually your strategy how you want to uh, market your APIs right this is this is a way in which you can monetize but you still need a, a strategy but i hope this is useful and please let me know any question that you may have also you will see that we actually have some um, apis in there you can search for pti costa rica 
and you will see that there are a couple of APIs in there uh, Facebook Data Converter, the Box Translation API, Customer Finder, yeah, Audible Computer Vision, uh, Food Ingredients API, Video Analyzer, Emotions Analyzer. Unfortunately, is going to be um, we are going to get rid of it uh, soon because the provider that we used for that API. Unfortunately, um, turned out the turn off this service, and is that we were actually using IBM Watson uh, to use the emotion analyzer to get the big five and everything. But unfortunately, it seems that they are going to uh, remove that service at the end of the year of uh, this year, I believe so we may have to remove the emotions analyzer but if you have any uh, any uh, other providers that you may have knowledge of please let us know too remember please share the videos comment in the channel and let us know which apis you have that you may want to make money with also if you already have something in the rapid api marketplace please comment and put it in the video comments so you can help more people too to get to know your um, APIs. Thank you very much and have a great day.